Hello, 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 everybody. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. My name is Chantel. No, I am not talking about looking. I got the shirt on and then talking about I'm not talking about paparazzi jury tonight. So I'm not talking about paparazzi jury tonight. Um, I said I would come on and talk about these dark circles underneath my eyes. I want to show you ladies how I get rid of those dark circles. Notice that I don't have on any makeup tonight. Let me bring this thing up in a little bit closer. So I don't have any makeup on right now, but I just wanted y'all to come on in the room. Hey, Miss Kim, how you doing? Just come on in the room. I want to show y'all how I get rid of those dark circles underneath my eyes. I have some discoloration up in here in my eyes. So I just want to show y'all how I, how I get rid of it. Now, my way is not the way always it's just the way that i do it so if you're in for it i like to show it to you i have not done my eyebrows or anything but if you'd like to see that just say yeah do the eyebrows but if not i am just going to be talking about these dark circles underneath my eyes so if you don't have them yet you just keep on living baby because you're gonna get them so not only do i have the dark circles but i am also starting to say hey cousin josephine how are you i am also getting the fine lines underneath my eyes if y'all can see that so um the dark circles um comes from lack of hydration so i don't drink a lot of water y'all and I know that's bad, but um, I'm going to say that that's from um, a lack of water. I'm going to say a lack of sleep. I don't sleep a lot. Um, right, Misha, that's wisdom. I don't get enough sleep because I'm in this room. I can be in this room and I can be up all night, but we're not talking about that. But um, so, yeah, if you have dark circles, it comes from lack of sleep. It comes from... Um, um, no moisture if do when y'all put your makeup on make sure you put moisture underneath your eyes because this is the most sensitive if i didn't say hello i'm sorry miss betty how you doing miss von seal how you doing if you don't um right here is the most sensitive part underneath your eyes and over time it just loses its pigment and it starts to get a little bit darker so um like i said when when we do on our face try not to do this because this creates the lines try not to pull on your eyes and all that stuff when you do it always use these fingers right here hey miss sandra how you doing use the uh, the ring finger because that's the finger with less pressure so we're going to start off do y'all need to know how to do the brows if you do give me a thumbs up if you don't we'll go right into how i um do um the discoloration of my eyes okay and another thing that um the dark circles come from is um hereditary if your mama got it your grandma had it you nine times out of ten you're going to get it too okay so let's get started let's talk about it let's talk about the items that are first of all let me go ahead my hands are already clean my face is already clean so i'm going to start off with the first thing you want to do is um moisturize your face so i now my moisturizer might not be your moisturizer okay because some of us have oily skin some of us have dry skin some of the some of us have combination skin so you have to use the moisturizer that best suits your skin type so me myself i'm a little bit oily around my t-zone hey miss irene nicely how are you i'm oily here and that's about it i really get like by the end of the day my face is greasy like i'm frying chicken but other than that i have like um normal skin it's not dry it's not oily it's just on my nose so um y'all know I, I live in a makeup store so i picked up this new um moisturizer it's called freezy i bought this from ulta it's a moisturizer and a primer together now what i mean by a primer is a primer for me I do also have um, pores if you know like the little um, pores in your skin and they're like just imagine you have like an orange can you imagine an orange and you know the little holes in the orange just just work with me those are miss Hi Ivy how are you that's what we call pores and we have some of us have it on our face I know I do but the primer is to smooth out those pores and so the foundation won't settle into those pores because if you see some people where their makeup is kind of you know it 
the makeup is kind of sunken in a little bit that's because they haven't put the primer on to fill in those holes okay so this is what I got from Ulta it's called freezy I'm going to moisturize my face really quick and when you moisturize you want to let it sit on for a few minutes you don't want to um, put the moisturizer on it and then go ahead and start putting on your makeup because it needs to get a chance to settle in your on your face because if you put the moisturizer on and then turn around and go ahead and put your foundation on you just mixing it all together so give it a chance to settle in a little bit so I put like three four little dots in take my finger and always when you put moisturizer on go up just go up when you get around the eye just do it lightly underneath the eye but make sure you hydrate underneath that eye because that's where um that's why you got those dark circles and hyperpigmentation skin so go ahead and moisturize your face y'all know i noticed i i put on lipstick y'all wasn't gonna let me come on here with nothing on today usually if i were doing my uh brows i wouldn't put moisturizer on my um eyebrows like i just did but y'all said y'all y'all already know how to do your brows so we're not doing that tonight okay so go ahead and moisturize that face anybody want to talk to me anybody want to say anything that's all i'm doing tonight is showing y'all how i get rid of the dark circles and showing y'all what i use to get rid of it now like i said i do have discoloration up here in my eyes as well so i like to cover that up too so after i let that sit on for just a few minutes let me see what i am going into next usually i will y'all let me do my brows real, real quick because it, it, it just won't look right if i don't do it y'all got time for that so i'm gonna do my brows real quick i'm gonna have to bring this in a little bit closer if it goes in a little bit closer <laughs> All right, let me do my brows real quick. So usually, you got your spooling, you got your brow pencil. I usually bring mine all up. Do it, do it matter what. Hold on, y'all. My thing just do it matter what moisturizer you, you use. Yes, it does matter what moisturizer you use because, um, like I said, you have some dry skin, some combination skin, and some have... Um, just normal skin so if you have dry skin you want to use a more moisturizing um moisturizing uh moisturizer okay so you want to use something that's going to moisturize that skin so yes it does matter it depends on your skin type so what i do to my brows is i brush them all the way up i'm gonna do this quick y'all because i know y'all already know how to do the brows so i'm gonna do that quick i take my little um brow pencil and I trace underneath my eye I kind of look up so it makes my skin a little bit taunt and I just trace underneath my eye I'm gonna do it real quick y'all it ain't gonna be perfect tonight you would be beautiful without anything on because you have not thank you miss Betty thank you so much I appreciate that so y'all I'm gonna show you how to do these brows real quick you want to do the top and the bottom and I'm doing it quick we ain't doing spending no time on brows tonight so I'm going to do both sides. Top and bottom. Hey, Miss Gidget, how are you? So then, after that, we're going to talk about concealers. Now, the concealer comes in all different types. I have a couple of concealers that I want to talk to you about. My concealer is from MAC. This one's almost, I should have picked up another one when I was in there today. Now, the concealer that I use on my brow is more of a thicker consistency. It's thick because I want that to stay. The number on this one is NW45, and I like to use this one on my brow, okay? Now, the next, um, I hope I bought the brow uh, thing what if you have wild brows if you have wild brows um miss von seal a lot of times what did i do with that hold on a lot of times if you have wild brows you just brush them up brush them up and then you you know you've seen the little scissors that they have you would just go around or you can get your brows waxed whichever one works better but a lot of times I never get my brows waxed I never wax my brows I just brush them up whatever is sticking up above my hairline I just take the little scissors and cut them it's just a little bit so that's what I do 
um, the little hairs that I have growing underneath here, I just take some tweezers and I pull them out. I never wax my brows. Never, never, never. I just don't do it. But you can do it. Okay. So I did not bring the brush that I really want to do these brows with. So we, I'm going to use what I have. Um, the, the brush that I usually have is um, it's an angle brush and I didn't bring it and like I said I don't like to leave the table I don't care what I'm doing but once you um, angle out that brow you go underneath I might need it y'all because this ain't working out for my good I take that I don't like this I don't like this I don't like it but we're gonna keep it moving so once I go underneath the brow you can carve that brow out however you want. Hey, Miss Linda uh, Fucci. I hope I said your name right. I hope I said your name right. But once you go underneath that brow, I don't have the right uh, brush. You carve it out. And then you see when I talked about those darkness under here, this is where I bring that concealer down and cover up the darkness in my eye. Now, does it matter what color concealer you have? Yes, it does. Because I'm, you want to use a concealer that's in your skin tone. Okay? So, you don't... you might, This is NW45 for me. This is what I like. So, this is what covers up the darkness in my eyes. So, if y'all can see that already, it's covered up. Now, what I want to do... That looks weird. I know. But what I want to do is take this finger and I want to... Do I have, I got lipstick on my finger. I don't want to get that on there. What I do is marry, marry that um, concealer in my eyes. Or shall I say blend it out? I blend it out. Can you see the discoloration is gone? Now another thing that I do, just me, while I'm blending it out, I will bring that concealer down here too. I will bring the concealer down here too, but we're not going to do that part just yet, okay? So this is how I get rid of the discoloration on my eyelid to make it more even when I get ready to put on my um, eyeshadow, okay? So if you can see this eye is a little bit blended, this eye is not. It's still discolored. Now when I do that, once anything that you put on your eye that is creamy, you want to go ahead and set it because if you don't, it'll start to crease. So anything um, um, creamy, you got to set it or it'll crease. So I want to go in quickly. You don't want to let it linger on because it'll, it'll start separating. So you don't want that. So you got to go ahead and go ahead and set that. So um, what I mean by setting is it's a setting powder. I just picked this up from um, MAC today. It's called MAC Studio fix setting powder this is what I use to set my face with okay and that's what I use to set all the concealers that I put on my face so I'm gonna do that really quick it's a brand new cute little little thing I'm gonna open it up if I can get it open without making a mess but it has a little top to it that's what um setting powder looks like you know you you normally get the um powder in the little container and it's it's a pressed powder and then there's a loose powder hey Stephanie cousin how are you this is the more loose powder but the pressed one I did not bring it because I wasn't using it but it's more pressed but this is the one that you want to use to set that um, concealer so I'm gonna do that real quick now I don't now how I use how I set my powder is I use these beauty blenders I bought this beauty blender from Walgreens I got it from Walgreens. I think it was probably like maybe $6, maybe $6.99. I have a bunch of them. But you also want to make sure that your um, beauty blenders are clean. You don't, want, you don't want to use them for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time because it gets oil in it um, from, you know, the previous day. So you want to use it a couple days. Then you want to you wanna clean your um, beauty blenders. Now, you can clean these. Hey, Melinda, how are you? So usually... I usually get a little bit, but I put it on the back of my hand. I put it on the back of my hand, so that gets rid of the excess on your your um, beauty blender. Make sure 
before you set it. Because if you set them line, if you put that powder on there and you go ahead and set it, you don't set that line in your eye. So this is what I want to do. I want to set that powder. Can you see how it just, it looks better already? You don't see the discoloration up in here. So I go ahead and set that really quick. If that helps, y'all give me a thumbs up. So a lot of people tell me, Sean, I don't have time for all of that. So if you have discoloration on your eyes, if you want to stop right now, you can stop right now. Go ahead and put a liner on the bottom here, and you can go on about your business if that's what you want to do. That's not how I do it. I got to do the whole thing, okay? So if anybody have any questions as far as where we are right now, I'm open to answer your questions. So that's how I get rid of the discoloration on the top. I hope you can see the difference. This one is darker. This one is more blended, okay? Can we keep going? All right. We're going to keep going. Do I need to do the other eye or do y'all need to see it again? Tell me if you need me to do the other eye because if not, I'm just going to do this one eye and be done with it. All right. Hey, honey grams. How are you? All right. We're keeping on going. So if you're getting ready to go to work, you don't have that much time. You're good. Okay. Good, Misha. I'm going to show you a quick way that I just, um, when I'm not doing the most in the morning, I am looking, but I don't wear makeup, but you look nice in it. Thank you, Miss Darlene. So the next step I do when I do my brow, now I use the go up here, but we're not doing that. We're just showing you how to get rid of the, the discoloration. That's all I'm doing tonight. So if you wanted to put on some eyeshadow and you wanted to be quick about it, hey, Miss Debbie, this is um one of my favorite brands, uh, Juvia's Place. I love their product. I love their... um. The pigment on their eyeshadows are great, so I do love it. This is my more natural um, color. It has all the colors I need in it to do a quick face. So what I do, I'm not doing the most. I want to go in with the orange. Oop, hope I'm getting that right. I'm going to go in with this one right here, and I'm going to be real quick. You're going to get a, this is a, um, I don't know the number of it. But this is a trans, trans, um, transitioning brush. The bristles on it are bigger, more fuller, because you want to get a wide area of the eye. So I want to start. I need for you to actually do this for me one day. I will, Miss Debbie. So we're going to start over here and just put a little bit of that transitioning powder in the eye. You want to do windshield wiper motion, back and forth, back and forth backwards and forwards and I'm doing it quick like I'm getting ready for work and all I got is five minutes you want to get some on your brush tap it and get the excess off and do it again you can do this as many times as you want if you don't have that many times if you don't have that much time do it once and be done but I'm gonna work mine in a little bit so this is a transitioning um, shade right here that means it gets everything else ready for the rest of the colors that you're gonna use okay doing it quick so I want to put that on the top right in there now when I you see when I when I step back you see that crease right here in my eye that's my lid that's all the lid I have I don't have a lot of lid space but what I do is I go in with my um, painterly paint pod I get this from Mac as well it is also a primer for your face. This is what makes my eyeshadow pop. I do not do my eyeshadow without this painterly. This comes in all different shades, but I like to use the lightest one because I like my eyeshadow to pop. You want to use a flat brush. I'm using this one because I left the other one over there. But you want to use a flat brush. Whatever you want your um, the eyeshadow that you want to see the most, that's where... I'm going to put it like right there in my crease. I can't talk to y'all right now because I'll mess it up. So this is what I want to pop in my eye. Okay. You want to make sure that's the part I want to pop. Some people, some people have hooded eyes. They don't even have that much of a lid. If you have an a hooded eye meaning that flap goes over most of your lid 
that's what I mean by a hooded eye, then you want to take this painterly and bring it up. You want to create more of a lid by going up. I'm not going to do that because that's all the lid I want to see. Okay, so you want to make sure that's on there. Now, I'm just pretending I don't have a lot of time. For the ladies who always say, Shauna, I don't have all that kind of time. I want to pretend I don't have a lot of time. So all I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm going to go back in. I already have some on my, this is just a quick way. If you want to put a shadow on that, you can. But if you just, you quick, you got you to get out of the house. Sometimes I'll take my um, pressed powder and just drop it right on top of that. And that, that's going to set that primer. It's not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. I promise you. I do it all the time. It's not going anywhere. So I was, hey, Tanyota, I will set, put that setting powder right there on the top of my eye and be done. All I need is a little bit of color. That's it. Now, what makes it look a little better is I go over it with the eyeliner. I got to I got to give it some an a shape. So the eyeliner that I use is called Blackout. Most people use a liquid liner. Some people use a pencil liner. Some people use an eyeshadow for the liner. Whatever works best for you. Now this is what the pencil liner looks like. I probably don't use it all, but you can use a pencil or you can use liquid. I prefer to use the liquid because it gives me more of a pencil look. Okay, so I like to use this best. So this is if you quick and you don't have much time. What I'm do what I like to do is I'm just going to grab my other beauty blender. This is my foundation beauty blender. It looks like this. Again, I get it from Elf, but you don't ever want to go and say you put your foundation on. You don't want to go in with your hand and and hold it because you're going to leave fingerprints. So what I do, hold on y'all. Hold on, hold on. What I do is use my beauty blender. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on your eye. I just use this because I don't want, a lot of times I have makeup or something on my fingers. I don't want to get it on my face. I don't want to get it on my eye. Don't do this. Don't do that because that's creating the line. So you just want to hold it there. Actually, I want to make this side a little bit taunt. So I'll do this. And this is where, y'all, it's real hard for me to see. I'm, I can't talk. So that's my eyeliner. I messed it up because I can't see in this camera. Hey, Sherry, how are you? So that gives that eye a little bit of color. I, and let me show you how I messed that up. If you ever do this, if you ever do this and you go over too far, it's okay. That's, what you, that's why you have a concealer. Concealer does exactly what it says. It conceals, it cover up. Now, I personally think I went over too far. It's okay right now, but I just want to show you how I fix that. You want to make sure if you're using liquid, you want to make sure that is dry. And you will go back in with your concealer. I wish I had my flat brush, but I'm going to have to use this one because I don't have it. You want to go in with your concealer and you want to clean that up. Just say you want to clean that up. I'm going to go in with a darker one. And all you do is take your concealer and clean that up. You can take that line right on out of there if you need to. If you can see that. Now, I like to wing my eye, eye out, so but I just want to show y'all how you can fix that if you went over too far. Don't try to wipe it. Go ahead and conceal it. Get your um, beauty blender and blend that out. Blend that out. And leave it alone. And it's okay if it runs over there because you're going to because I have not put on any foundation. Foundation is going to cover that, but you do want to get the most of it blended out. You don't want to leave that line there. So you can see I clean that line right on up. All right, so we've done the eye. This is if you don't have much time in the morning. Now, what I do to get rid of this, I've already moisturized my face, so that's good and moisturized underneath there. I've already primed it. So after that, I usually... I usually will take, now I just bought this 
concealer from MAC. Never used it before. Usually, I will go ahead and put my, um, I'm just going to do this just because we're not doing the whole face. I usually go ahead and if you want to, you can go ahead and conceal underneath your eye. Let me show you how that gets rid of. Another thing I have is a little bit of, of the sunken eye. I hope I can say that. The sunken eye, can you see that a little bit? A little bit sunken in. Now, most people, you can use fillers. And what I mean by filler is they use Botox. Not doing that. But they use Botox to fill that in. It kind of gives the illusion that it's, you know... Um, it fills in right there. So that's what that uh, Botox does. But I'm not doing that, especially when I can use this concealer. But I just want to, where you put the concealer is, underneath your eye, you have a bone right there. If you feel in your face, you have a bone right there. I don't know what the bone is called, but it's right there. If you touch it, you can feel it. That's where you want to put that concealer. I know it's light. I know it's light. But... When you put your foundation on, which is a little bit darker, you won't even see that. So that's what I want to do with that. So then you take your little um brush, not your brush, your beauty blender. You want to make sure that beauty blender, some people dampen it a little bit. Um, I don't have a, yes I do. I did bring a little. Some people put a little dampness to their um, beauty blender. It helps it uh, blend out a little bit better. You don't want to... Um, occipital bone that's the bone back here in your the back of your head sherry i know that one that's the occipital bone right there that's that thing back there not the jaw bone your jaw bone is i don't know what that bone is called but we we know there's a bone right there so after you let it die down a little bit it hasn't quite died down enough but i'm gonna go ahead and get it started you want to start from in here and you want to blend that out Blend it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. <laughs> right, it's the eye bone, Sherry. So you want to blend that out. Get all underneath there. I don't think I let it um die down enough because it's moving quite a lot. <laughs> You're right. So you want to blend that out. And I didn't let that die down enough. So I'm going to use the back of this dry brush. Okay. So that's how you kind of get rid of the darkness. And like I said, I use um, this new concealer from MAC. I kind of like my other one better. So I'm going to go with that one because I know that one works. Like I said, concealers come in all different colors, shapes, sizes, and forms. I don't like the way that blended out, so I'm going to use a little bit of this. That works, that I know it works. Okay, so we're going to blend that out some more. Now, when you get ready, like I always tell you, you have to set that. But we're not going to set it just yet because I have not put on any foundation. Hey, Miss Yvonne, how are you? Are the beauty blenders disposable? They are disposable, um... Miss Josephine, but they are washable too. So over time you can, you know, you can wash them, but then you can um, throw them away and get you another one as well. So if y'all can see that it kind of got rid of or blended out that dark circle. Can you see this one is more dark? This one is more blended out. Now once I put on my foundation, it's going to cover that whole thing. So that's how you get rid of that. I'm not going to set that yet because, like I said, I got to put on foundation. So my foundation, I got a new one, y'all, but this one is kind of ratchet dirty. I got a new one. I like Juvia's Place. I love their foundation. You don't have to use a whole lot. Like I just bought a new one. I might not be able to get anything out of here, but I like to put it on the back of my hand. You only need, hey, Miss Zelber, how are you? You only, only, only need, hey, Zelfer, hey, Miss Margaret, hey, Tawana, how are you? You only need a, a little dab of do you on this stuff, because if you put too much, you're going to look like a mess, okay? So, 
I probably don't even need this much because for what I'm doing. So what after after I um, got rid of that dark circle, y'all see you can't. It's dark over here. It's more blended in over here. Then I go in and put on my foundation. Not a lot. So then I'm going to take my beauty blender. I like to spray my beauty blender or wet it. And I'm since I got this wet, whoop! Y'all didn't see that, did you? You don't want it soaking wet, but you do want it damp. Hold on. You want that to thank God for you. I see you love help. I do, Miss Margaret. I do. I I like everything beauty. So once that um, it's not soaking wet, it is damp. Then I go ahead and blend that in. It probably it looks a mess right now, y'all, because I don't have nothing else, nowhere else. It's a lot of work. Yes, honey grams, it is, but it's all worth it. Hey, girl, thanks for showing us how it can look ten better than I know. Okay, no problem. It looks a mess. I mean, not a mess, but I just wanted to show y'all how to get rid of it. Because I haven't done my whole face, I know it looks different, but I just wanted y'all to see how this eye looks much better than this eye. You don't see hardly any of the lines anymore, and you don't see a lot of the discoloration. So after that is done, this is, I'm not doing the whole face of foundation. Like I said, after you finish with all of that, you want to set it, but you want to go ahead and do it quick. Because like right now, you don't see a whole lot of the lines. You see more of the lines over here. Like that's a real one right there. But you don't see the line. But if you don't go ahead and set that thing, and you let that line go ahead and form, then you're going to set that. I'm not going to say set that. You're going to set that line right into your face if you don't go ahead and um, go ahead and set that. So go ahead and put your little powder underneath there. Blend that in real good. And you're good to go. Again, anything creamy, you got to set it with powder. Any questions? Y'all got that? Now, if I wasn't talking, I would have been done with this. Hi, what do you use to clean your sponges? Okay, Miss V, um, mm, I use, they do make makeup brush cleanser, but you know, I found a, it's a, it's a name for it. I'll come back and tell you. It's not a dish soap. It's, I can't even think of the brow wax. Is that good to use? Brow wax. Yes, the brow wax keep those brows in place, Tawana. I use gel, okay? I use that gel that that girl used to uh, mold her hair down that one time. I use that particular gel, okay? But um, what was I saying? Mm, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Can't even remember what I was talking about. But that part is done. Then I would go in after that. I'm really liking, um, I'm kind of getting away from the black eyeliner. I'm really liking blue eyeliner these days. I'm really liking blue eyeliner. Again, once you have, you don't want to never go back in and, and use your finger to hold it in it. I use a, is this wet? Yep, that's wet. I don't want to use a wet one. I want to use a dry one. Cleansing the brush. Okay, it's um, it's one of those dish detergents with no parabens, no alcohol, no nothing in it. I can't think of the name of it right now. I just bought a big bottle to clean your sponges with. That's what I'm talking about right now, Miss Donna Martin. I can't think of the name of it, but once I'm done, I'll take a picture of it and I'll show y'all what I use to clean my sponges. Okay, it's um, it's I mean you can get sponge cleanser but I just use that stuff it works just as good okay so once I'm done because like right now my eye doesn't look like nothing to me it doesn't look finished without eyeliner I have to have eyeliner so I'm gonna hold that little thing right here and I'm gonna line my eye if oh that's not good I can't see cuz y'all words are in my way okay that's better
that probably still ain't good because I can't see with this camera. But there you go. You get the gist of it. You put your eyeliner on and you're done. That is it, ladies. I hope y'all can see. I used a liner that looks like a magic marker with a paintbrush tip. It glow. Mm hmm That's what I use too, Tawana. I love it. The one that I'm I'm loving right now is called Blackout. I get it from Ulta and I like it because it's just like a pencil. It, it is real fine. It's just like a pencil. It's real easy for me to use. Okay? So, ladies, that's how I get rid of the um, darkness underneath my eyes. I hope y'all can see it. It's not as prominent as all that darkness over here. So, that's what I do in the morning. Now, y'all know me. I'm a little bit more on the eyeshadow. But I just wanted to come in and show y'all how to get rid of the dark circles and it's with concealer okay so if that is it do y'all have any questions for me i hope i i was helpful um just teaching you how i do it to my i mean you might you know do it a different way but this is just the way that i do it it works for me thank you tanya i appreciate that that's just what um works for me um you know over time you learn different ways but for right now, this is what's working for me. Cleanser for brush. Yes. Um, once I'm done, I will put that, uh, give you a picture of what that cleanser is. MAC 54 is your favorite. What, y'all, why my comments not working? Hold on. Did you use black liner at the top and blue liner at the bottom? Yes, ma'am, I did. Yes, ma'am. I like to be different, um, Zelva. And usually I'll go under the bottom with a blue eyeshadow because usually I like to set my liner because throughout the day, a lot of times now when I go outside, the allergies gets to my eye and my eyes water. So if I go outside and my eye water, that eyeliner is all down my face. So I usually go in with a mascara in blue and set my, eye my eyeliner because again, it's creamy. I always tell you, anything creamy, you got to set it with some kind of powder or it's going to be all over the place. That's just me personally. So if I had my um, eyeshadow over here on the table, I would have set that um, eyeliner with my powder. Okay? And usually, I usually like to wing out my eye, but we're not doing that because I know y'all ladies are not into wings and all them things. But that is it, ladies. I just wanted to hop on because I said I would. You don't use a setting powder. Yes, ma'am. We talked about setting powder. Miss Donna Martin. I use this setting powder right here by MAC Studio Fix. Just bought me a brand new one today. It's, it looks like this. Hey, Miss King. How are you? So, yes. I use this setting powder right here by MAC. I talked about the difference between a setting powder and a regular press powder. I don't have the press powder here. But I, I really like this... Um, this powder right here the difference is one is more loose and the other one is more compact what color blue was that what about the liquid type of makeup do you use have always set those anything liquid or wet to want to has to be set with powder or when you walk outside it's just going to be all over the place and the name of the blue the blue um eyeliner that i that I like right now is Morphe. It's called Morphe and it's blue. Now the black one, you can use black. I, I'm just gravitating more to the blue these days. There's a black one and there's a blue one. I like the blue one right now. Tomorrow I might like red. So I, But right now I'm liking the blue. And I usually set it with a blue eyeshadow. Okay. What about liquid type makeup? Do you have to always set those? Yes, ma'am. I think I, I think we, I, I'm reading it twice. Yes, ma'am. You always have to set um, your foundation, or a lot of times that's how you it transfers. If you don't set it, it transfers because it's liquid. Okay. So that is it, ladies. If you have any things, you have been very helpful. Love you. Thank you, Tawana. If y'all have any other makeup questions, I'm not the person who knows everything about makeup. Did you do your eyebrows? Did I miss it? I, I 
Oh, I did one side, Miss Lily. I didn't do this one. You can tell. And another thing, um, once I do my brows, another thing I personally don't like is when people leave it like that with that box. I cannot stand that. I didn't do it myself, but I cannot stand that boxy look. But to get rid of that boxy look, you take your brow and the bristle and you brush that hair in the opposite direction. That's all they have to do. I'm not talking about it, but that's just something that, that's one of my pet peeves. I do not like the boxy brows. I like it to look more natural. So you brush it in the opposite direction and then brush them bristles right on back like they're supposed to be. Okay. All right, ladies. I hope I was helpful to you. I know it doesn't look. Can you show how to do the wing? Yes, ma'am. How I do the wing, I love the box. You do, Tawana? <laughs> well, I don't like it. Okay. What do you think about the Juvia's Place setting powder? I have used it, and I do like it. I have used it, and I do like it. Somebody asked about the wing. The wing is, you want to, I'm going to just turn to the side right here. You like the boxy too, Miss Vanessa? I don't like it. Please do, because I'm going to look at you like this to want to like. <laughs> All right, so to do the um wing, you want to start here again. You always use your beauty blender, and you don't want to, don't do this. Don't do that. That's just making them lines more, more and more and more. But kind of hold your eye up. I start up. I can't really see y'all. Uh, and I don't want to mess it up. But I'm going to bring it in close so you can kind of see. You want to bring that wing up right here. Start right there in the corner. Okay, I can't talk. I can't see. And then you, you go up. And then you bring that right there and close it up. It's not perfect because I need a mirror. Can you see that, Zelber? That's how I do my wing. If you mess the wing up, if you went out too far, if you didn't do something right, you get that concealer and you take that brush and you can swipe it up and clean it up and make it more crisp if that's what you want to do. Okay, so I hope that helps on the wing. I know it's not perfect because I don't have a mirror with me. I'm trying to use this phone. So that's what the wing looks like. Okay, that's it. Thanks for showing that. I always mess it up. Yep, you just want to start here at the bottom. Bring your line up and then go right there halfway, midway and close it up, meaning attach it to the top liner. So that's how you create that little wing look. Okay? I hope that helps, y'all. Anything else while we just talking about Makeup Monday? And um, by the time I get home, this is still, it's still set. It doesn't, unless I done laughed. And y'all who know me know that when I laugh, I cry. Unless I've laughed. This is the same way when I get back home. It doesn't move. You use liquid eyeliner. Yes, ma'am. I like liquid eyeliner, um, Miss Lily. I honestly don't like, um, I don't like the cream on the top. I don't know why. I don't know why. I like the cream on the bottom, but I like liquid on the top. I don't know why. I'm just crazy like that. Hey, Latona, how are you? I'm just crazy like that. Okay. Any other makeup questions or anything I can help with? If not, we're going to call it a night. Are you listing all the products? I can. Um, I talked about each one of them as I went along, Miss Lily, but if you need a list, I can do that. Thank you, Tawana. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. So if that's it, I'm going to um, get in my jury room. This is my happy place, y'all, in this jury room. Nothing else gets done. I can't do my eyebrows. Yes, you can. It's practice. You can do it, Miss Lily. Practice every day. It's not that hard. All you're doing is lining what you have and concealing it. That's the easy part. 
Okay, Miss Von Steele, I will do a list. Now, remember, ladies, the colors that I use, you can't, um, I'm not saying you can't, but you want to get the color that matches your skin tone. Okay, picture of the cleanser. Okay, we'll do, Miss Valencia, I will do it. Okay, so I need a list of the products. I'm going to go through them one more time really quick, just in case. All right, um, the, let's see, where do I go? Definitely you want to use a moisturizer. Miss Rhonda, how are you? You definitely want to use a moisturizer, but a moisturizer for your skin tone. Okay, I'm trying this one out. I kind of like it because it has both a moisturizer and a primer in it. So I like that. Okay, I brought tutorial one day, please. Yes, we'll do that. I, okay, so you want to use a moisturizer first. Again, I got this from Ulta. It's by NYX and it's called Freezy. Mac will match your skin tone if you... Correct. Even if you don't buy the product, they'll match your skin tone. Okay, so... And, and, and your product doesn't have to be MAC. MAC. It doesn't have to be MAC. Drugstore products work. The only thing with drugstore products is you can't open it up and, you know, see what your, what your match is. That's the only thing. But MAC, MAC will, um, that's why I like MAC because they'll let you try it out. You can feel it. You can touch it. And also Ulta, you can touch it, you can feel it, and you can ask them to help you get your right color. So that's why I like those two um, stores, Mac and Ulta. Sephora as well. I like those three stores. You have Mary Kay. I don't like Mary Kay. <laughs> I do not like Mary Kay. I tell, I think that's what um, most of the funeral homes use is Mary Kay because Mary Kay products doesn't have, if I'm right, it doesn't have a lot of oil in it because that's what they use for the dead because you you know it's hot here you don't want that oil to be um you know melting on those on their face so i think mary kate i'm not even gonna say that it's just not my favorite brand but if it works work it miss josephine work it what about lancome i've never used lancome um products because my coins don't let me use lancome i'm i'm more on the mac side you love Dior makeup? I've never used... Ooh, you're so expensive, Donna Martin. But the flip will help them buy wherever you want because you know what you need by them. Yes. D Donna Martin, uh, for my birthday, can you buy me some Dior makeup? I want to try that. That's ex that's expensive. Okay. But no, my my brands are MAC, um, ELF, um... And Juvia's Place. Those, that's that's my lane right there. That is my lane. Matt Juvia's Place and NYX. That's my lane. Oh, and more. Another thing, ladies, when you finish your makeup, set it with the setting spray. That's another thing that helps. But I use the Juvia's Place setting powder. Okay. You want to know what other setting powder that I like? Um, I just bought y'all. I went to the I went to the store the other day. I know I'm getting off track, but y'all know when you talk about makeup, that's my thing. I bought this uh, Beauty Bakery. Anybody ever use Beauty Bakery? I like them too. So I bought this setting powder from Beauty Bakery. I like it because it all of their products looks like a bakery. And again, I get this from um, Ulta. I get this from Ulta. So y'all, if y'all want me to talk... Talk about makeup and jewelry and hair. I can go all day about those three things. Makeup, jewelry, and hair, you got a whole conversation for about three, four hours. But um, I do like Beauty Bakery. I bought it before. You like Beauty Bakery too, Miss Valencia? I like it too. It's my new one. But today I went to MAC and... I wanted to try this one. So, I have two setting powders. And, and like I said, sorry about the typos. Trying to get the message in. You go nuts. I know, right? Because I'll forget what I'm talking about. I like, like, I like makeup. I like trying new things. I like seeing what works. Luckily, um, my face allows me to try different things. Because some people get breakouts from trying different stuff. But thank God, 
I don't get breakouts. I very seldom get breakouts. Thanks God. Thank God for that. But um, you know, I tried these. Uh, oh, let me go ahead and finish the rest of it. Um, so when you talk about baking your foundation with the white light powder, what does that mean? Okay, so um, Sherry asked a good question. When you talk about baking, like underneath the eye, if I wanted when when the light hits your face. As you can see right now, the light's hitting my face like right here, right here, and right here. These are the places that you, when the light hits it, you want it to be bright. So that's why you use baking. They they use this term called baking, and that's when you put your concealer underneath here. Use a lighter setting powder. I like to go with the setting powder that's closer to my skin tone because I don't really like because I'm not going anywhere. And a lot of times when you use um, those uh, baking, it's like when you're doing photo shoots or, you know, you're going out. That's when you like it to be brighter underneath here, right here, on the bridge of your nose, on the top of your lip, and right down here. Because when the light hits it, those are the one. that's where the light brights. You know, if I'm answering you right, Sherry, you sneeze and if you break it out, okay. So yeah, you use a lighter setting of powder underneath here. If I was doing contouring and highlighting tonight, Sherry, I would have done it lighter here. I would have done it lighter on the bridge of my nose. I would have contoured my nose with a darker right here. So when the light, cause y'all know I got a big nose, right? So every day I can I contour and uh, lighten this nose okay so that means I darken it on the side of my nose because it makes it appear smaller so when the light hit it all you're going to see is that light part on the top of my nose so I do that all the time but um, as far as underneath my eyes I'm just going to work I like it to be my skin tone so um, maybe for the party I'll do that part Sherry but I hope I answered your question I hope I answered your question Okay, if I didn't speak to somebody, um, how y'all doing? Miss Nelma, how are you? So if there are any more questions, I'm open for it. Any more? Um, we were talking about the, oh, we were talking about this. I told y'all I get sidetracked. So I went to Ulta and I bought, I like different um, mascaras. Now, I definitely use a primer for my eyelid, I mean for my eyelashes. I definitely use a primer and what a primer does is it gets the eyelashes ready for the mascara but the one that I use I didn't bring it to the table if y'all can see I really don't have a lot hey Michelle I really don't have a lot of eyelashes but when I put that primer on there if y'all want me to go get that primer I will give me a minute I just want to show y'all how this primer works don't go nowhere I want to show y'all how the primer works Okay, I'm back. So, the primer that I use is called, I don't have no glasses, y'all. It's called Essence Volume Booster. It's a primer. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how this stuff works. If you don't have any eyelashes, get this stuff right here. Y'all see this? It's called Essence. And right now at Ulta, I think they're like $4.99. You buy one, you get one half off. But I'm going to show y'all how this stuff works so good. Remember yet, ladies, do not, I'm just going to do it right now, do not do this. That puts air in your mascara and it dries it out. So when you're using your mascara, just put the top on there, squeeze it, bring it out. Put the top on there, turn it a couple times, and bring it out. Yes, it looks white, but let me show y'all how this stuff elongates my, because you see I don't have any, very little. But let me show y'all when I put that stuff on there. Ooh, child. Now y'all see it. I bet y'all like, why is she opening her eyes that much? But see the difference? It brings, it, it gets that, it gets those lashes ready for the mascara. Now I put it on there when I'm getting ready. Whoop, sorry y'all. I didn't mean to do that. So I put that stuff on there. And I'll do the other side. I'm just going to do it just for the fun of it. 
it brings it out so much. Look at that. This stuff is a bomb.com. So I personally don't um, do lashes because they irritate and itch my eyes. I found this stuff and I cannot live without it. Again, it's this Essence uh, Volume Booster. Volume Booster. Once that settles in a little bit, once it dries down a little bit, I haven't used these mascaras, y'all. Another thing about mascaras, Miss Wendy Dawson Johnson, how are you? I didn't mean to um, overlook you. I didn't see you. But another thing about mascaras, y'all, mascaras have different wands. So whatever you're looking for in your um, mascara, because they come in different wands. If you want volume, you got to get one with volume. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's uh, it's called Big Lashes, Volume and Curls. This particular one curls your lashes. So you want to, you know, make sure you see which ones work best for you. Now the other one that, this one is ex extreme volume. Let's try this one. Let's see how this one works. This one is called Extreme Volume. Again, they were $4.99. I bought one, so I got the other one half off. So let's just see how this one works. So after that has settled in a little bit, I go underneath. Now for a person who's kind of scared, oh, I'm scared I'm going to hit myself in the eye. So a lot of times you look down. Just look down, and you can do this with your eyes closed. If I'm Not literally with your eyes closed, but if you look down, then you won't feel like you're not looking at it, so you won't um, feel like you're poking yourself in the eye. So there you go. And I'll just keep working that on there. Can y'all see the difference? I'm going to try another one. Just because you do, and I do more than one coat. Sometimes I'll let it dry down and I'll come back and do another coat. But I want that thing to be, did I say I want that thing? I want that thing to pop. So I'm going to put some more of a different one. Because I want them to look like I got on false lashes. Hey, Tanya, how are you? I want it to look like I have on false lashes, which I do not. Now, I go up it. That's probably not the right term. I go up and then I go down. Because I want to coat all those lashes. A lot of times I might shake it a little bit. But do what works best for you. Okay? You do you, boo. I'm just, just trying to show y'all how I do it. If you're just hopping on, ladies, I was just trying to show the ladies how I... This side of my face is not done. I wanted to show y'all that I have a lot of discoloration. A lot of hyperpigmentation in without concealing this eye I've showed y'all how to get rid of that so if you're hopping on and you're like oh my god what is going on do you do yes ma'am I do my bottom lashes as well now Zelbra I don't really put this on my bottom lashes because it's so close I don't want it to get into my um my makeup okay and you know because I, I do mascara on the bottom, but I don't do the booster because that's going to make them longer and it's going to get in my makeup. So I don't like that. But do what works. So ladies, can you see um, if you don't wear I, um, lashes, get yourself some booster and you got yourself something. Okay? So ladies, um, Zebra asked, do I do it on the bottom? Yes. Y'all, it's really hard to use this camera as my mirror. How long does it take you to complete the process daily? Miss Betty, um, I like to take my time doing my makeup. I've never really done it fast. So I'm going to say it takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to do my makeup in the morning. But that's my time. You know, I mean, that's my my time when I'm thinking to myself, I really take my time and do my makeup in the morning. I could be faster, but that's just my time. I'd like to take my time to do my makeup. So, Delver, yes, I do put um, eyeshadow on the bottom. Because, you see, when I do it, it just makes it so long and they get into my makeup. So, but I do put it on there. So can y'all tell the difference? 
it looks like I have on false lashes when I really, really don't. Okay? So, y'all ask some good questions. I hope this has helped. Sorry, y'all had to see me this way. This is what I look like without no makeup on. But I like it. I like that girl. Here. I like this girl over here. This girl over here, she's something to mess with. She's crazy over here. But this girl right here, you see her on Mondays. I can tell the difference. Okay. So, ladies, if that is it, I can be on here all day. If y'all have questions, I have answers to answer the best of my ability. But if not, if anything else y'all want to see next week, Makeup Monday, I'm here for it. I know somebody said they want to see the brows. I didn't do the top, but... Thank you, Miss Lily. Thank you so much. But ladies, y'all can do it. Y'all can do a lot of, uh, some people say it takes too much time. Some people say I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can do it. I kind of think it's fun to me. I really enjoy doing makeup. I really, now the one thing I don't enjoy doing is makeup for bridesmaids, makeup for, for weddings. I don't, those stress me out. After my friend's Robin's wedding, I say that after every time somebody get get married. But I think all of my friends are married except you, Sherry. All of my friends are married, so I probably maybe got one more to do. But after that, I'm done. I don't want to do any more bride's makeup. That stresses me all the way out, okay? But other than that, just to do it one-on-one, -on -one, I love that. Okay. <laughs> Right, Sherry, I'm just throwing, putting your business all on the street. You never said the name of the cleanser for the sponge. Oh, Donna Martin, um, I would have to go to the kitchen and get it because, like I said, it is a dishwashing liquid. But I saw it on somewhere where they use it because it doesn't have any parabens in it. It's all natural. It's whatever that all natural dishwashing liquid is. That's what I use to clean my brushes. Whatever that um, it has, it's um, all natural. I, and that might be the name of it, all natural. What's a booster? The booster is this um, eyes, uh, eyelash primer. It's called, y'all, I can't see nothing. When I say I can't see nothing, let me see. Hold on. It's called, vol oh my God, that's so much better. Makeup for pat. No, ma'am, Miss Valencia. Mm -mm. I told myself I'm getting off at. I think my mom is the only person that I have to do makeup on that day, and she's at one o'clock. After one o'clock, I'm out of there. I'm y'all are not finna get me stuck up in no salon on next Saturday for the party, okay? But this is the booster, um, Miss Regina. This is what made my eyelashes look longer. It elongates my eyelashes and it's called um volume booster i get it from ulta R R regine that's right regine you know your name regine that baby is so cute i almost want to say taylor just had that baby um that's not taylor's baby that's your baby <laughs> and i know that's your grandbaby but he is so darn cute so cute all right any more questions, ladies? Get this in your life. It is thebomb.com. Get this in your life. Okay? So, again, we talked about moisturizer. We talked about the different concealers. Concealers come in creamy. And concealers come in a little bit more condensed. I need you to go shopping with me. I would love to go shopping. If it's makeup, hair, or paparazzi jewelry, count me in. But this is also a concealer. I use this concealer on the top of my eyebrow and on the bottom. I like to use this one because it's more stationary. It doesn't move. Um, I like to use the creamier ones underneath my eye. I use the creamier ones underneath my eyes and... The more um, compact one I use on the top, you know, to um, define my brows. 
Okay, so we talked about concealers. We talked about setting powders. Not a hair show, though. <laughs> okay. We talked about setting powders. What else we talked about? We talked about Juvia's Place. This is a good makeup brand. It's not that expensive. I think it's about maybe $24. I love it. You don't need a whole lot of it. You don't need a whole lot. Um, we talked about eyeliners. We talked about when you do your eyeliner, setting it with mascara so it doesn't move. We talked about that. What else did we talk about today? We talked about beauty blenders. We talked about wetting your beauty blender when you um, put on your foundation so it makes it more um, workable. Okay. We talked about that. Um, what else? We talked about setting spray after you're done. Set your whole face so that makeup does not move. And we talked about um, this stuff, what you need in your life. We talked about the cleanser um, for your brushes and your um, beauty blenders. So that's all the stuff we talked about tonight. Okay? Okay. So if that is it, ladies, we're going to call it a night. Any more questions? I hope I was helpful. I had fun doing this. I love talking about makeup and hair and paparazzi jewelry. If y'all don't know that about me, that's my three things that I like to talk about. Okay? So thank you, ladies, for hopping on with me tonight. Um, you're welcome, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you for all the questions. I hope I ho answer them to the best of my ability. I hope I did. You're welcome, Delbra. Thank you so much. Delbra, how your grandbaby doing? Everybody got grandbabies. That's grandma baby. I know grandma probably grandma probably getting ready to go see her baby now. Thank you, Miss Valencia. And everybody else that hopped on tonight. I appreciate you ladies for tuning in. You'll be on Mondays. I say that, um, Miss Lily. I say that I will be on Monday, Makeup Monday. Okay, you're welcome, Miss Betty. And thank you, Miss Josephine. I want to see y'all ladies doing some of this stuff and tagging me in it and letting me see. Yeah, my baby's doing well. Oh, that's good, Zelbra. Good, good. All right, ladies, if that's not, if that's it, y'all see my face? Y'all see how the light hits it? That's where I would have put that um, highlighter right there. I can see it already. So that's it, ladies. We're going to call it a night. And I'll see you again. Uh, I'm supposed to go live with some jury or something. I might work on that tonight. But y'all know if y'all not doing anything, my live nights are Thursday nights at 9 and Sunday nights at 8.30. Thank you, Miss Donna Martin. All right, ladies. Good night. Thank you for tuning in.